one owner car guy, and I've just been driving the 80 something T Bird Town Landau. Don't see these very often. Super cool cars. But the point of this video here is shopping. That's right, 82. Shopping in America. And I took the video of the store over there in the Netherlands, but never one in America that I've uploaded. And this is an Albertsons. Pretty big brand here. Pretty much like the Albert Hein over there, but the scale of the way you buy things in stores here is just amazingly different. Um, dead. Hopefully the one inside works. That's, I don't know if they've got that in Europe yet, but here you just buy your little things in a machine for a buck. No red box right now. But here goes for the store. Because you're not supposed to do that. The way you get your meat here is never pre cut like it is in Netherlands. and the bread selection here is really different from being overseas, for sure. There is a bakery for some fresh stuff, but most of it's right in here. Give you an idea on pricing. Hot dog buns and hamburger buns. You know, that's one thing I didn't see over there, is hamburger buns. It's probably typically American. Five bucks a loaf on sale, two for five, some of them. That's pretty much standard here. Unless you get store bought, store brand cheaper bread, two bucks a loaf for a big loaf. The biggest difference between Netherlands and California or America was the eggs. I could not believe the eggs. The eggs are 309 and 18 pack here, but the main point is. They're all refrigerated. All the time our eggs are always refrigerated, whereas in Europe, they're out in the warm on the shelf. Very, very odd. They do sell alcohol right in the stores in California. Um, it's not like this in Montana, but lots of cheap wines. And And the beer. Let's see what your the amazing difference of beer. And Netherlands, I think it was $8.99 for 24 um, Heineken. Here Corona will cost you $14.99, $13.99, $12. Um, Samuel Adams is $16.99, $14.99, $12. $13.99 on sale, $15.59. Heineken, here we go. $14.99 They come like that here. 18 packs for 21 and 24 packs. There you go. 24 pack cases. $24.99. Three times as much money as the other one. And it's not just that kind. It's all the beers definitely cost more here. Um, Bud Light. Bud Light 12 pack, $11.99. Wow. Bud Light 20 pack, $14.99. So that'll give you an idea on the difference of beers. $2.19 for one of them. $2.19. Versus the Netherlands, I think I can get them for like 52 cents. Definitely a big liquor tax here. Oh, and real alcohol. Yeah.
anything you can imagine. All at the store. Oh, and they even got the top shelf stuff down here too. I like Midori. I don't drink, but every once in a while from Vegas, I got a little liqueur. Crown Royal Black. Crown Royal Reserve. Mmm. Green label. Gold label. Patron. Big old thing of Jaeger there. Oh, that's your liquor. <clears throat> I don't know if they even sell... They have to sell kegs in the Netherlands. Unless it's just it's so cheap they don't even mess with it. Because your beer is cheap over there. Milk. They're big into organic milk over here now. Six nineteen a gallon. Regular milk though. <clears throat> Three oh nine a gallon. You may as well get a gallon. The half gallons are two forty nine. Juices are a lot smaller section here, for sure. And a lot less pure. Oh, I gotta show you. You absolutely must see soda section. Oh, the meat, they even do the meat different here. It does not look as appealing. bleach and detergent and dish soaps and everything in the store here. Scrub brushes and there's just more groceries and you have to go somewhere else to get your mops and your laundry detergent and such. Aisles and aisles and aisles. Oh, the produce is here. I might as well show you that. Definitely a different kind of deal than over in Netherlands. Habaneros. Probably isn't no fruit we have here that you ain't got there. And why I'm talking about specifically Netherlands is I get a lot of requests from over there since I did the other videos of Netherlands to do reviews of stuff here. So that's what I'm doing. Now this is the smoothie section that they've just got in the last few years. This odd wallage is, I don't care where you are in the world, this stuff is great. And the naked juice is just as good. Mix that with a rock star or something, you're really talking about lots of fiber. It's actually got the fiber in the whole 
the whole vegetable and fruit blended up in it. This is the best one for you right there. That's such a good stuff. Like I say, cough drops, cough syrup, toothpaste, toothbrushes, mouthwash, cold medicine. You know, I mean, just headache medicine. Everything in one store here. I don't know if this one's got a pharmacy. Um, this particular one, I mean, enemas and douches and Pepto Bismol and Insure and healthy drinks and maxi pads and tampons and stuff and medical supplies, foot care stuff, health bars, nutrition, workout stuff, vitamins, herbals. Pregnancy tests, Kotexes, diapers. It's amazing. And the different kind of Kotex and tampons and stuff. So many more than what's over another one. That's just that section right there. Baby stuff. In the baby food section. Infamil and stuff. Yeah, this is all at the counter because people steal it. Oh no, there's some in there. That stuff is expensive, buddy. Cards and we do have a water aisle nowadays, which is interesting. A whole aisle of cards to help me the length of an entire store. And this all the barbecue stuff. <clears throat> Big difference in the way they work the stores. You, they don't stock the shelves the way they do in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, they're always stocking all day long. Razors, aftershave. Every kind of razor you can imagine. For women, for men, deodorant, hair dye, stockings, socks, holy smokes, nightwear, shirts, files, hair stuff, dish soap, hand soap, body soap. Kristen, service first, please. Victoria, service first. Victoria, service first. Shampoo, conditioner, gels, makeups. It's just, it's a totally different way of shopping. They even have self-checkouts here nowadays. That's about how much coal they have in Netherlands. All in all. Look at all the paper towels, the whole aisle. Ooh, candy. Yeah. Nothing I can't live without there. But we are going to go check out. There's another one for you. Dog bones, dog treats, dog food, cat food. Not only that, they got a refrigerator nowadays with a refrigerated cat stuff and dog stuff. So, pretty big time. I don't, I mean, this is two whole aisles all the way down. Nothing but dog and cat and kitty litter and toys and bird seed. Look at all the bird seed. We got school supplies light bulbs, everything you need. Auto supply stuff. They got antifreeze and oil and transmission fluid and armor all. Jeez. Pretty much you name it. That's what I want to show you. This is a drink aisle. Here's your Coca-Cola section. That's what I drink usually. It's a Coke product. They don't have it anywhere else. Oh, I just pointed at the wrong thing. Two liters. Oh, that's the other difference. They use only two liters here. Versus the one liter and the 1.5 liter over there. And jerky. They don't have jerky in the Netherlands. I don't even know what the deal is with that. Popcorn. I don't know that I've seen a lot of that over there, but I know you have it. But jerky, jerky, jerky. I just do not see the jerky over there. And this here is some really good jerky, too, by the way. Oh, nuts. Nuts are expensive here. Think about this. Here you go. Where are we going here? Peanuts. $4.99 for a thing of peanuts like this. And you can look up Jimmy Carter and peanuts and peanut farmer Jimmy Carter and you can figure out how he screwed the whole United States and now we pay 10 times more for that much peanuts than you do in the Netherlands. 
seriously, that cost me 28 or 55 cents in the Netherlands for that much peanuts. It's amazing. The government buys all the peanut farmers' peanuts if they don't sell them. It's the ultimate scam, set up by a president there, because he has peanut farms. So, back to all these Pepsi and this and that. Oh my god, they even got the itty bitty cans here nowadays. And the itty bitty bottles. Chip aisle, pretzel aisle. It's, it's damn embarrassing. It makes us bigger as a nation here. Drinking all this kind of sugar. Starbucks stuff. I love the I love this stuff. Rockstar right there, baby. That's the stuff. Gotta give a kiss out to my Rockstar. Okay, well, I gotta cruise down here. I'm kind of eating on the run. And I hate eating fast food. So I won't do it. I get lean cuisines. And these bad boys right here. Quick to make, low calorie, lots of fiber. Mm -hmm. Quick to warm up. Make them and stinking I'm set. Now my lean cuisines, maybe get a pizza, maybe good for the night, upload some videos, yes sir. Right? Well, that's pretty much your grocery store thing. I'm gonna shoot over towards by the end of the month, by June 25th, everybody has to sign a new Bacon ain't such a big deal there. This is how they package it, pre-packaged. That's a totally different kind of meat. Not good at all. Hot dogs. Pastas. And the cheese section. Which is what we're looking for. Reduced fat. We are looking for the reduced fat. <coughs> so perfect. I'm oh, so sorry. No, oh, no, no problem. Yeah, she actually said that. Four, 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 
card accepted. Key in the item scan. Please check your basket. Scan additional items now or press OK to pay. took my goddamn money, it's gone. What? You actually didn't hear that? Psycho? Odd. I'm trying to get in fights where I can go places. She gonna make sure it actually took my money. Uh, I should know. Well, that's the Albertsons there. Thanks for watching. Definitely different type of shopping than overseas in Europe. I am set up though. I got my turkey. And I am ready to do it to it. What time is it here? It's like four o'clock. And we are getting ready to do a video on an LTD wagon that we've had for a while and also I just actually killed this thing I ran it really really low on gas and I'm thinking I got a little bit of a clogged fuel filter to mess with and that's what I end up doing on these cars. I drive them around, I try them out. Now all your stores are in like a big place like this. There's a drugstore here, Rite Aid. I would um, do a separate one of that later, maybe. But totally different. And that is the whole walk around of the Albertsons here. Man, everybody calling me like crazy today. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. OneOwnerCarGuy.com And you can check out a lot of the cars I have for sale there. I import, export to any country in the world. You name it, no problem. Nathan, 406-544-6989.